Hiya, hello, uh, it's Yolande and Dave is with me here. He'll be with you in a minute. Um, I'm going to read this off a script I've written. Hello to all Catholic grandparents. We are Yolande and David Yates, married for 43 years with three adult children and three grandchildren aged 10, 9 and 12 years old. Throughout our words, prayers and actions, we hope that we as grandparents have been beacons of spiritual light, guiding our grandchildren towards a deeper relationship with God and teaching them the value of prayer, prayer mercy, forgiveness and Christian love. As Marie, Sister Marie Therese on Zoom last week, she said it's not about giving children the choices when they're so little to begin with. Little ones, she said, have no concept of spirituality, morals or indeed any knowledge of the Bible and the framework of Catholic religion. So it's down to us as grown-ups, if you like, to introduce and lead the way. If it we're not for us as parents and grandparents showing the way by teaching scriptures our own day-to-day, week-by-week, God-fearing examples of our daily lives and our wise and loving attitudes put into action for them to observe and experience. They could go through the whole childhood um, or even their teenage years right into adulthood with no awareness of the depth and meaning of a religious um, and a spiritual relationship with God. In some cases, as we all too often see in the media, unfortunately, that's uh, you see examples that's led to despair and desperately unhappy youngsters, unhappy lives with terrible results as a consequence consequence um, in prison, um, self-harming, suicidal, all sorts of unhappy and selfish lives that lead to um, breakdowns of relationships um, and not even realising sometimes what it is that's missing about their life. So teaching, we start as grandparents um, with the ABCs. So what we've got is um, uh, a simple version of our faith. Everybody's probably done it as a grandparent, looking at pictures in books, going to mass with explanations of what's happening and examples of um, what's good and what's bad. Easy tales about real life experiences of, of, of being kind and good to each other, selfless in things that we've done or that other people are doing around us. Um, telling them the basics like not lying about being honest, loving, etc., which we all know very well as grandparents, even as parents. As our grandchildren get older, we can introduce grandchildren to more mature and in-depth examples of good works and the sacraments living themselves um, by putting what they are taught into action. Uh, it can go to a, a greater depth at a, after a certain age and so on and so on. It seems obvious to us um, uh, as uh, if you, especially if you're a cradle Catholic and you've um, always been to church or been taken to church or school with church with Catholic school, but Pope Francis has made many appeals to grandparents in seminars and services and speeches recently. I've just been researching, looking this up before I I did this vocations um, evening, um, dedicated to and giving homage to the great work that is achieved by grandparents. So um, without boring you too much, there is one here that is mentioned talking to some Polish children. All the links for this are at the end of this um, half an hour. I hope that, um, I think Alexis will have had the links so that you can actually click on yourself and have a look um, to see that them uh, on YouTube. So Pope Francis talking to Uh, on the second seminar, he spoke of the role and responsibilities of grandparents themselves to their grandchildren. And he states that he himself, as a pope, is an older person and feels like a spiritual grandfather, even though he's got no children of his own, thereby acknowledging the spiritual, in inverted commas, grandparenting of all mature members of our church. So it doesn't matter if you're not a grandparent yourself, if you are mature or older regardless of whether you have grandchildren he states that god is there for everyone no matter what age whether we feel left alone infirm debilitated we all have a mission in life from the lord um, to look after the young in our parish or in our community he states that a new reality of the 20th and 21st century is the gift of retirement 
uh, which is something new actually, reduced part-time work for the elderly or the more mature person uh, with more time. So he says those are gifts. He states that there are two ways in which we can use this time spiritually. One is the time to pray and two is to give oneself in service. So um, it's not much more now, I've nearly come to the end. Pope Francis mentions the beautiful examples of Simeon and Anna in the temple at the presentation of the Lord. And he mentions specifically that like many African cultures historically, uh, for example, older people have more time these days and in the African cultures to visit and remain at church, which we can see in our own church, even at, um, at St. Carlo Acutis, uh, sorry, Blessed Carlo Acutis, which can be compared directly to our own diocese of grandparents free to spend time at non-Sunday services, weekday masses, special diocesan celebrations which require travel and the membership participants of parish lay groups of which we've got many to pray not just for themselves but on behalf of their children, their grandchildren and the wider parish and worldwide community who cannot be present due to work, carer roles or educational commitments. And the Holy Father went on to mention um, grandparents and the older person at the second seminar that it was important to reach out as older people to younger people and be there for them just be authentic he said and caring and loving there's no need to be cool or to fit in yourself he states that what we can show the youth our grandchildren is a beauty that is based on love so not on the visible magazine cover kind but a deeper and more gratifying kind that comes usually with age often it is by a grandparent's life experiences of long-term love for someone else suffering give and take disappointments mercy to others and forgiveness of those who have wronged us love successes and failures um and that's um i think that's a three-year-old video that he's done there um so there's more as well if 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 anybody wants to, me to read any more i can do that live um as parents and grandparents our own three children have attended the gifford school or saint christopher's our grandchildren live away from us and although two out of three are catholic christened our children um our three children have married non-catholic spouses and the parents of all three grandchildren have decided to allow the children to grow up and then make their own minds up about following up being a Catholic. So we are asked not to fear, interfere with this. So with parents' permission, the times the children visit a church or attend a mass these days um, is uh, occasionally um, the children um, have, have gone with permission from themselves but recently declined to go to church. To push any further would be to overstep the mark as a grandparent in this delicate matter. So where we have religious statues around the house and books around the house and a crib at Christmas, we talk about Jesus, we talk about famous religious events and it appears we're not alone in this. I believe that most um, people of our generation are finding that their adult children um, um, are, are letting their children um, do their own thing they've gone away from the church or feel it is not for them to impose religion on their own children is often an attitude of today we are there as examples and when they are older we'll always be available god willing to answer queries meantime we send copy and pastes of events like holy communion enrollments or becoming a catholic from time to time um, as a grand parent i've enjoyed taking all three grandchildren to school masses where they watch the school um masses their children file in so well behaved concentrating on the mass and hymns they are all love the congregational singing at children's masses they're so powerful vibrant and enthusiastic with clapping and solo participants and instruments you take it for granted going to church um, but if as a child you're never taken to church you never get the chance to hear and um, participate in singing together as a huge group or the collective prayer said together with or without books um, and things swing in cycle so as well things have changed a little bit below i've got um on the link and if i've got time to show uh, or get it online within the 10 minutes um pictures um of pope francis actually uh, live um 
I don't know whether he was standing on the balcony or just um, in, a, in a studio, but he was actually employing, imploring grandparents um, in their role and older people as well to take on the role of um, looking after youngsters and um, that it doesn't matter whether you're alone, whether you've got less energy, he says, whether you've um, got no children or grandchildren yourself, whether you're infirm even. He says he's infirm. Um, there's no excuse to not get involved with looking after the young ones. Thank you.